Hey there, Renato. I was just uh, checking out your video on the DMCA problem. Um, I've been looking at some other videos uh, involving the DMCA. Uh, I wanted to uh, bring up a point. Uh, first, I, I have to say that <clears throat> I think that there's like two parallel problems with this DMCA uh, thingy. That um, you know, on the one hand, the large companies uh, would tend to use it as a cudgel to uh, beat down people that that they think are usurping their their copyright and uh, you know interfering with creativity in, in the process. Um, but what I wanted to focus on in this little vlog was um, I, I think the the aspect you're going to uh, be addressing that the DMCA is is basically used as a harassment tool by fellow YouTubers. <clears throat> um, you know, it, as I as I said in a video to uh, uh, a response to "Give Me a Break, Man," that the uh, people are mean. You know, <laughs> that's that's just a, a process that uh, that uh, goes on in some people's minds where they get a kick out of doing that. You know, we had flame wars on the Usenet years ago. Uh, this is just a, an extension of that, I think. Um, you know, and, and the way I understand it, that you have, um, you have the um, ability when you're filing a DMCA to actually not include your personal information, which You know, seems kind of slimy in a, in, in a certain sense. <clears throat> but then the person that you're DMCAing, when they respond, they must include their personal personal information. And and it seems to me, from from what I've come across, that that you know, it could be like a fishing expedition where uh, they're just trying to get your personal address and and, and information and so forth. Um, <clears throat> so maybe. Uh, one way to deal with it on YouTube itself is to either have like full transparency where a person who files a DMCA and they have to include their information to file it in the first place which you have access to uh, which might shut down uh, a, a lot of uh, just a bogus DMCAing because you know you, you hate the guy oh I hate that guy's video I'm gonna I'm gonna shut his butt down you know um, or, or on the other hand, what YouTube should do is that uh, it should all be based on username until it becomes an actual court-imposed uh, 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 request for information. You know, where, all right, I've, I've got the username uh, uh, whatever, you know, like say Johnny whatever, and, uh, and I file it against uh, uh, Renetto, right? So it would just go through username that Johnny whatever says hey uh, this is a DMCA and then Renetto would file a counter DMCA to Johnny whatever but at no point does uh, any personal information uh, get exchanged unless you know after the counter DMCA the thing becomes uh, an actual court case where you're you know you're you're, you're trying to uh, uh, prove one way or the other that the copyright was broken uh, Otherwise, um, I don't know. It's a it's a tricky thing. I uh, I really like the idea that uh, you're trying to drum up support in the community and uh, get people, uh, you know, to kind of rally around uh, uh, being more sensible, perhaps, in the way they're DMCAing. Um, oh, and I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you about those those homemade bifocals, Renato. <laughs> every time you do that, you're killing me. You're killing me, buddy. Uh, you're like the Ben Franklin of our age, uh, but um, I, I think uh, I think that pretty much uh, was the point I wanted to make about uh, you know the the fact that there were uh, two parallel uh, problems with DMCA, but I think the bigger one on YouTube right now is is this whole harassment thing, you know, where people just uh, uh, they're just being mean basically. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, thanks, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.